New at 10 homes sold around the metro area. Only problem is they never should have been listed in the first place. Tonight, 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez uncovering a couple accused of selling property that doesn't belong to them. Property records show this Green Valley Ranch home is owned by Chad Milosevic. Lance Hernandez with Channel 7. But the person answering the door doesn't know Chad. Court documents obtained by 7 News show Chad died in 2011 of lung cancer. Investigators say since his death, the house has been illegally sold to Alvaro and Jessica Navarro. You don't know Alvaro at all? The man who answered claimed he didn't know anything. You know what I'm saying? So, but neighbors tell 7 I mean, News the Navarros have been living in the house for months. And investigators allege the couple who sold them the house is Alfonso and Maria Carrillo. Court documents state the Navarros gave the Carrillos approximately $5,000 to move in and were told they'd receive notification from the bank about future payments. We tried to track down the Carrillos at their home in Thornton. They used to live here. They were actually squatting here illegally. Kathleen Trostel now lives in the house. She says after purchasing the home, the Carrillos called police trying to get her evicted. She claims the Creos even went so far as to claim they were military veterans. They know the laws very well and they know what they're allowed, but um, people are allowed and not allowed to. And fortunately for me, my dad's in this business and he knows the laws better than them. When we tried to track down the Creos at their office in Lakewood, all we found was a note saying they're out for training. Late last year, a Denver grand jury indicted the Carrillos and an associate on 25 counts, alleging a pattern of racketeering activity involving other people's homes or property. They're due in court on those charges July 8th. Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Now, this case involving Chad's house is separate from the grand jury indictment, so new charges will likely be filed. Chad's family declined comment for the story. They learned about the situation after a family member drove by to check on the house.